after 47 days of no content, you know what we should give everybody? Let's give them a box. But not only are we gonna give them a cardboard box, we're gonna make it mythic. But we're also gonna make it more common than all the healing items in the game, because that makes sense. It's gonna be easier for them to find a cardboard box than it is for them to find like minis or like a med kit. A mythic a cardboard box. I never would have imagined that one small video about a cardboard box being put in Fortnite would have caused so much controversy on Twitter. But then again, what do I expect? This is Twitter that we're talking about. And now, firsthand, I can see what all my friends always say about Twitter being the cesspool that it is. For my audience on YouTube that might not know what I'm talking about, yesterday, I made a video talking about the cardboard box from Metal Gear Solid being put in Fortnite. I made a small joke about how we waited 46 days for, in essence, just a cardboard box to be given to us. If you were on stream yesterday, you saw me talk about it. It was a funny moment. I clipped it and I decided to put it on TikTok, YouTube, and of course, Twitter. YouTube, it didn't get much traction. TikTok, it did okay. But Twitter, Twitter is where this post went absolutely buck wild. It got so much attention that even one of the biggest leakers in the community decided to make his own video about it. And oh boy, we're gonna get to that later. But before we get to that, I wanna play a little game with you guys called How Dumb Is The Fortnite Community? <laughs> What I've done here is gather a collection of retweets and posts which pretty much summarize the general mindset of the people who are commenting on my post. Starting with good old Frosty Wolf here who says, This guy doesn't even know Metal Gear Solid. <sighs> Bro, what do you mean? That's clearly the guy from Fortnite. It's not just a cardboard box! You're right. It's a mythic cardboard box. I swear, people on YouTube worship him, Clark, like a god. I'm glad it doesn't happen on Twitter. Like, honestly, I don't even know where this comment is coming from. Is this a place of anger or frustration with me because I've done well on YouTube and now you're just upset? that I do well and people like what I have to say about particular things? Or are you just completely oblivious to the fact that I get a lot of flack on YouTube and TikTok as well on other platforms? We'll get into that in a moment too, but uh, this comment honestly is just kind of weird to me. Um, actually, uh, Snake is known for hiding in boxes in his home series. Fortnite already had an item like that. No need to reinvent the wheel. And also, uh, EMP camo has an EMP effect that damages shells. <laughs> Nothing the other invisibility items don't have. Can't say it's recycled. All right, that's awesome. And ultimately, at the end of the day, it's still a cardboard box. It's honestly really interesting to me to see how far people will go to defend these franchises. Like, I'm not even joking when I say this, but I feel like most people, when they see my video or they see other videos like it, they feel the need to defend their favorite series like it's some kind of religion. Like, I've just attacked your God and your entire belief system, and now you have to stand up for the honor of your faith. And it's not just me that's had to go through this. I've seen Dag when we go through this with the whole Kamehameha incident. I've seen Little Snail go through this with the whole Little Sticky Boy situation. You say one thing about someone's favorite IP that they like that's clearly a joke, and they just blow it completely out of proportion and will write you an angry newsletter about how horrible of a person you are and how much you don't understand their franchise. An obvious bait, but I don't care. Collab items are always mythic. This is a collab item. Also, we waited 40 seconds. Shut the f*** up and be grateful the game gets updates that fast. The point of the video wasn't to be upset or to show how ungrateful I was for the update. It was just to point out the hilariousness that after 46 days, one of the three key items that we got was a cardboard box. Now, other people have got to mention, Well, you only mentioned a cardboard box. You didn't talk about the rest of the update. Yes! That's the point of the joke. That's what adds to the ridiculousness of the joke because that is the only thing I mentioned. I'm obviously ignoring all of the other things that got added and specifically honing on the cardboard box, but it still doesn't take away from the fact that even though we got all this other stuff, that we waited 46 days for a cardboard freaking box. Here's the crazy part. All these people that are upset, none of you are gonna use it and it's not because you can't find it. It's because the item isn't worth using. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We'll get back to that in a minute. Every time I see this dude on TikTok, he complains, even about the good stuff. You can't win on the internet. If I'm excited about a season, I'm glazing Epic, or they're paying me to say nice things. Well, of course you like the update. Epic is giving you free skins. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, if I make criticisms about the game, all, all I do is complain. I'm just a yapper. All I do is whine about a game that gives us updates every week. 
So to the people that think that I somehow magically hold both those positions that are in clear opposition of each other, that clearly can't both be true, I want to know, how do you think my content is supposed to be? Should I just not talk about updates at all and just leave it alone? Should I actually make completely different content altogether? What, you want me to be more like the content creators at the top and put out content like this? Today, Cypher PK is controlling my Fortnite game, but there are many twists throughout this video. What's up, everyone? I got something for you. You'll never yeah, believe yeah. what just happened. The point of 90% of my content is to express some form of truth within Fortnite. Sometimes it might be through a skit, sometimes it might be a funny moment on stream. 99% of the time it'll be through commentary videos like this one or my previous videos that I put out which you can check after finishing this one through. Of course liking and subscribing to the channel afterwards as well. The main thing I want to get across to my audience is this. You can't win in these types of situations except when everybody is blowing a small joke that you made completely out of proportion and it gets you an insane amount of traction on the internet. Watching Fortnite fans get mad about a lack of content even though they get new shit every single week. Meanwhile, Mortal Kombat fans have to wait a year for DLC, all the while ED posts vague troll teasers. I think a key detail that a lot of people are throwing out here is that the expectations between a standard video game, something like a Dragon Ball Fighters or a Mortal Kombat, a fighting game, right, is completely different than a live service battle royale like Fortnite. But even when comparing Fortnite to other battle royales, it's quite obvious that we get more updates than the average BR. The other problem people don't realize is that frequent updates are a double-edged sword. Yes, it is awesome that we get our game updated as much as we do, and I will admit the community can be a bunch of whiny crybabies. But there's an interesting thing that people need to understand. When you've played this game for a long time and you've seen it at its peak, when you've experienced frequent updates that were consistently amazing, and then you get something like this, especially when you know that Epic Games has a library of content from previous seasons that they could throw in at any time to spice up the loot pool and then they don't, yeah, that kind of rubs some people the wrong way. And what's funny is that wasn't even my initial complaint in this video. If everyone had to watch the video I put up before this, I actually gave Epic a lot of praise for a lot of the cool things that they did add to the update. And I was also excited for some of the upcoming stuff that was leaked. Epic Games works their ass off and they just came off of giving us OG and an entire new chapter with four new game modes. That is a lot. However, for someone that likes to play the BR mainly and has been playing the same game in essence for the last month and a half, almost two months, I was really hoping for something that would shake up the meta. Now, with all due respect, a cardboard box and a visibility cloak and a rocket launcher that was designed to lock onto tanks is not going to do that. But listen, as cringe as all of these comments were, nothing, and I mean nothing, comes close to the cringe that I saw from iFire Monkey. That's right, I'm calling you out directly, bro, because the shit that I saw in your video was inexcusable. Now, before we get into this nonsense, I want to explain something really quick because I can already hear the keyboards typing. The argument of hypocrisy is one that I love seeing in my comments section over and over again. Clark, a few weeks ago you made a video critiquing other larger content creators, and the moment somebody does it to you, now all of a sudden it's a problem? That's not the issue here. Once again, I'm not upset at the fact that everybody lost their mind over something that was obviously a joke. Like, a five-year-old could probably understand that this guy is just being goofy. I'm also not opposed to constructive criticism. However, when you take something that I say and you completely extrapolate it to mean something that I clearly didn't intend it to mean, that's when I have a problem. There is no way that Fire Monkey could have looked at my video and came to the conclusions that he did. When I talk about other content creators or other positions that people have in the community that I disagree with, I do my best to explain their point of view as well as I can. That's my responsibility as a content creator to my audience to not only provide you a reliable source of information, but to adequately and fairly assess the situation or the content. But all of what I just said is a clear distraction from the real issue that we have here, which is Fire Monkey's video, which once again, I'm not even mad at this. I just find it absolutely hilarious that he came to these conclusions after watching my video. So I got a few moments timestamped here that I'm gonna go through with you guys, but if you wanna watch the full video for yourself without me skipping through it, it's on iFireMonkey's second YouTube channel. This whole entire update and everything else that had existed before in the form of creep and cardboard, and people are complaining about it being in the game. They're like, oh, this is a mythic item and it's just a cardboard box. I find it more often than things like hills. And just, you know, saying all these claims regarding the item and saying that, you know, Fortnite is going downhill because they have a cardboard box as a mythic item in the game, and that it's apparently super common. Did I say that once in the video? I don't want you to take my word for it. I'm not going to even tell you what I said. I want you to go back and watch the video for yourself. And I want you to tell me, did I actually say that Fortnite was going downhill as a result of them putting a cardboard box in? 
bit of time, right? Maybe that's why they're so common or something like that, but they're not something that you're going to be using too much. I mean, even if you're running around or whatever, you can't sprint with the boxes. You can kind of, you know, sneak around and everything. You can peek out of the box, do some damage that way or whatever else, but they're not that useful of an item. So you actually agree with me. Here's the funny thing about what's said right here, right? The underlying message of the joke is that the box is useless. The fact that I'm finding it more often than I'm finding med kits or minis is a problem because I can't use a cardboard box in a fight practically, but I can sure use some heals when I'm getting dogpiled and third partied every five seconds. For Fire Monkey and other people, not only not to see that, but to in many ways kind of agree with the core of what the joke is, is hilarious to me. The other funny thing is, by your own admission, the item is useless. If the people that are actually excited about the item are saying that the item's useless, and this is one of three key items that were added in our first update in over 46 days, wouldn't that suck if one of the three items that you got added in 46 days was completely useless to the main game mode you play? Wouldn't that be somewhat of a source of frustration for you? Now, once again, I'm not really frustrated by it. Am I happy that we have a cardboard box? No, but I do understand why it's in here. I understand it's part of Solid Snake. A lot of you guys are right. Yes, I've never played Metal Gear Solid, but I had a friend in high school who absolutely loved the series and I watched him play it and I'm quite familiar with how the game works. I know the significance of it. I understand why it's a part of the collab. But once again, the point of the joke was to show the ridiculousness of having a box that's pretty much useless, regardless if it's part of a collab or not. Thing that, you know, because they dislike how it's a mythic item in the game and it's not like a weapon you can actually attack people with, that Epic Games is going downhill. They're making poor decisions and that it's a super common item or something like that and it just kind of shows how to a point whenever someone doesn't like something about a game especially with Fortnite especially if they're like a content creator or something I've noticed it with they typically go towards this route of being like oh I hate this item and because I hate it that must mean that it's the most common item in the world when no that, that isn't really the case at all is that what I said at all was that even mildly implied and that is clearly the most common item in the game because I hate it that has nothing to do with it it seemed like a common item because I kept finding it in buildings and I was not finding any heals whatsoever. If you want, you can go back and look at that stream and see me landing at different POIs, finding two or three cardboard boxes in a building and no heals. That's another reason why the joke was made in a bit of context, I guess, that was left out because it was designed to be a short, small clip that was about something goofy that was not supposed to be taken this series. That it's going to be that way. But for some reason, people just feel either the need to complain, maybe it's a way to, you know, get some easy impressions or something like that. I don't know, I really, I really don't like focus on impression farming or anything like that. So I don't know if maybe that's the whole trick. Maybe I've fallen for bait right here and the whole entire time they just wanted to get a lot of attention on them, even if it's negative attention, because, you know, some people have the whole mindset of any attention is good attention, even if it's, you know, like bad ones or whatever. So maybe. So here's the funny thing about this. This post was not intended to be bait. The post was just meant to make a few people laugh that saw it. I honestly thought that I was gonna get like 20 likes on it, maybe one or two retweets, nothing crazy. That's about what my posts normally do. I'm not the biggest influencer on Twitter, but if anything, what this does is expose the culture of the internet or the culture of Twitter, or maybe even the culture of the Fortnite community or all three wrapped up together in one, honestly. For someone who's just trying to make content on the internet and make people laugh at something that's a really goofy observation, instead of looking at it for what it is and just looking at it objectively, we instead craft this narrative that I must be doing something malicious in order to farm views because that's what I need to do. Now, to be fair, we do live in a culture where a lot of content creators are impression farming or being controversial for the sake of being controversial or edgy for the sake of being edgy. There's not a lot of substance to their content. They're just out there throwing out rage bait, just trying to piss people off just so they can get a bunch of clicks. But that ironically was not my goal in this situation. And interestingly enough, it ended up working out in my favor. Regardless of what Fire Monkey Thanks says, this was actually a positive for me. The amount of traction that this post got, the amount of exposure that I got as a result of people seeing me, regardless of how they perceive it, doesn't really matter at this point. It's a matter of the exposure. But once again, I didn't post a thing that people were going to get this outraged about it. I thought it was just a simple throwaway joke about a cardboard box. And I thought people would clearly see the humor and the satire and the fact that, yeah, obviously we got more stuff than a cardboard box in the update. Obviously this is a part of the Metal Gear Solid collab, but at the end of the day, regardless of those facts, it's still a mythical cardboard box. Maybe that's what's going on here, but it is something where I feel like, you know, especially if you're someone who uses Twitter a lot, you just hear a lot of noise. Things that are just- Yes, and you're contributing to the noise. You're part of the problem. <laughs> 
people saying things for the sake of saying things and not because they actually care about what they're saying not because they actually dislike something like cardboard boxes being in the game that is true i genuinely don't dislike the fact that the cardboard box is in the game i think it's a funny item and the fact that it's mythic makes it even more funny that's also part of the joke like, can we not all agree that the fact that we waited 46 days and one of the three key items that we got is a mythical cardboard box? Like, that that's not funny to anybody? Like, we don't see the humor in that? But because they just want to start some drama. They just want to get people talking or whatever else, and they want to be at the center of it. That's kind of what... Once again, the drama started because of everybody else, not because of really what I said. It was because of how everybody perceived my statement. And I can't really control how people are going to perceive my content. The other thing, too, is I posted far more controversial and hotter takes than this, and they have never garnered this much attention. Last week, I made an Uncle Ruckus skit about all the racist maps that we were seeing in Fortnite, but that didn't go viral on Twitter. However, this one, this one about a cardboard box, this is the one that sets the internet on fire. That's a little more telling than I think people want to admit. There's other things like being mad about a cardboard box being enabled in the game that doesn't affect the loot pool at all because you hardly will ever find it unless you're going over to the specific NPC. Of course, you can still find it in normal loot or whatever, but it's something that is completely like insanely rare. And you know, it's just like, why is that what you choose to complain about? If you want attention or whatever, you can complain about a lot of things. There's a lot of stuff you can complain about in this game that would be completely justified and you would still be able to get your attention or whatever else. But choosing a cardboard box out of everything just kind of feels ridiculous to me. But I think. Yeah, it's so ridiculous that it got over half a million views in 24 hours. Listen, man. I don't know what your goal as a content creator is. I don't know what you're trying to do. But regardless of what my intentions were, you have to admit that the results are pretty impressive. And listen, this is not me patting myself on the back because once again, I didn't intend for this to happen. This is just kind of how it worked out. Well, this has taught me in many ways that the internet will create its own controversy. I don't really have to do much of anything to try to be controversial. The internet will just fabricate something. Regardless of how you feel about me or my content, this is your first time here or you've been here for a long time. If you look at that video for what it is, there's really not a whole lot to get mad about like when you sit down and you really just look just look at it for what it is is it really worth this much hype and attention for i'll take it if the internet wants to give it but i don't think anything was said that was really that outlandish doing the Fortnite leaks, you know, making videos, preparing for future updates, all that type of stuff. But at the same time, you know, I do see a lot of people in the community kind of like talking about this specific situation and this specific content creator. I know I haven't actually showed you guys the video or anything because, you know, I kind of can easily like d define it as, oh, hey, this person who's a content creator is complaining that this item is too common and that, you know, it doesn't make sense of its rarity or something like that. Even though the reason it has mythic rarity is simply put because it's a collaboration item and no other reason right so with that said hope you champs and champions enjoy today first off fire monkey next time you make a video about me say my name it's okay i won't bite i know you're talking about me and everybody else knows you're talking about me you might as well go ahead and trend jack off my success which is what this entire video is about you thought you'd capitalize off the success of a topic that you thought was going viral and that's fine i don't blame you for that however next time have the decency to say my name since I'm the source of all your frustration in this video, right? And look, man, here's the deal. I'll do the same thing I've done to every other person that I've had a bit of beef or controversy with. If you want to talk about this issue with me live on my stream in front of both of our audiences, I'd be more than happy to do that with you. You're a great leaker. You provide some of the most thorough leaks out of everybody. I think it's you and Sheena that I look at the most when it comes to this stuff. But do us both a favor, and when it comes to topics like this, if you don't have the discernment skills to pick apart someone's video logically, rationally, and objectively, maybe you should just stick to doing leaks. Stick to what you do best, because commentary is not your field, brother. If you're gonna be in this space and critique people's work or talk about people's work, number one, have the decency to call them out directly, and two, make sure you get what they said right. However, I wish the best for you, man. And if you wanna talk about it, let me know. This has been one of the most wild situations that I think I've got into in my entire Fortnite career. And just looking at everything, it just shows the ridiculousness of the internet. But you know what? I'm all here for it. I appreciate all the angry comments on the post. I appreciate all the people that were trying to defend me. It's just, I find this entire situation absolutely hilarious over something that I thought was so minor. People blew it completely out of proportion. And I guess that's just the nature of the internet. You're not always gonna be able to control what happens, but I guess the outcome, Turned out a lot better than I thought it would.